Time now for Restoring the Soul of Healthcare from the Help Care Clinic in Austin. It is that time, and uh, we welcome to the program our friends from the Help Care Clinic. Uh, gentlemen, good morning. Hey, good morning, John. Lee AC joining us here. Uh, and Lee, today uh, I know you want to talk a little bit about um, really almost stripping everything away and getting back to the basics. Really explain what the Help Care Clinic is, how it works, how people can get involved, because you're just about to embark on the uh, the latest new journey with your expansion to Rochester. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of timely. It's the first show of the year, um, and we really kind of wanted to get back to basics a little bit and discuss, you know, what is healthcare clinic, what do you get from your membership, and what can you expect. And so, um, and especially then, as you mentioned, with our opening, doing the first appointments in Rochester next Monday, um, people who are uh, you know, interested in joining over there uh, and might be in the uh, in the in the earshot. Uh, we'd like to have them know about this as well. So the key thing to know about healthcare clinic is that a healthcare clinic can get consistent, unhurried, personal primary care through an affordable membership. And it gives you most of the health care that you're likely to need for most of your life. So unlike other places where you pay per appointment um, at healthcare clinic, when you have your membership, there's no charge per appointment. So if you sit down with Dr. Dave Strobel or Stephanie Kimmis or a future a physician assistant who's going to be starting later this month. That'll be in another program we'll talk about. Um, but in your, you know, if you don't cover everything in your first one hour visit, um, you can set another appointment and continue. And there's no, there's no additional cost for that. Um, we do more than 60 of the most commonly needed blood tests. Um, and there's no charge for those. And it includes some that some important ones that a lot of people probably haven't ever had, uh, but they're just part of our standard suite of of testing, or well, this tan- standard suite that uh, that we include and that uh, Dr. Strobel and and our providers are are choosing as they see needed. And there's no disincentive uh, to to give you what you really need. Also, then including the first couple uh, prescription drugs at no extra charge as well as lifestyle coaching. So for a lot of people, just the savings on the lab test alone is gonna uh, mostly be more than their membership dues, uh, just because the cost of lab tests are so high and typically that's coming out of your insurance deductible. But because we don't take insurance, uh, we're able to keep those costs low. We contract directly with the lab, for instance, to get those, uh, those costs lower and the patients never see that bill. And so really, even if cost was the only thing, this would be something that people would want to be really exploring. But I think the other part of it that really is the the core of it is the essence of it is the consistent and personal care. And so I'd like to have Dr. Dave talk about, you know, what kind of vibe, what kind of feel we're trying to create uh, here at Healthcare Clinic. You know, the name of this show is Restoring the Soul of Healthcare. And, you know, the, the, the experience that most patients have had is that it doesn't seem to be a lot of soul in healthcare anymore. And I can tell you that as a, as a practitioner, you know, that's, that's largely been kind of pounded out of us or, or made impossible just by the way the systems work. And so we've talked about how we want to restore the soul of healthcare and, and you have to do that really by restoring the soul of healthcare practitioners. And that's not really selfish because most practitioners went into their profession just because they want to help people. Uh, there's a good amount of altruism, but that gets, that gets abused. Uh, we we want to do the right thing, and then other people that don't really care so much about that then take advantage of it, and it, it ends up turning into a really miserable experience for the practitioners and then that spills over into constant miserable experiences for the patients so restoring the ability of the healthcare providers to be able to practice in a way that is consistent with what their original altruistic idea was actually allows us to become the best that we can be um, and then our patients experience that, and and they they can sense the difference. 
and then the soul of their experience is recovered as well. So the, the slower pace, the ability to stop and explain something if there's a question, the lack of, shall we say, disincentive to deal with the, oh, by the way, doctor, while I'm here, hmm. can I ask you about this? That kind of thing. And then if there's not enough time, then we can just simply get back together again and either by phone or by video visit or in person, just all kinds of different ways, um, and talk more about any additional things. So as we've said before, the visit is never over. We're just done for now. And um, that doesn't mean I can always see somebody the next day, but uh, I can certainly, we can certainly get back together again in a pretty timely fashion. And that makes for just a much more comfortable experience. And then we've, we've also designed our, our physical space to be more welcoming and comfortable. And people will walk in and uh, they'll say, I just, I just feel good at just walking into the building and, and just walking into the reception area. So there's just a whole different feel to how healthcare uh, is in most places. That doesn't mean that those places are bad. It just means that they're missing something that people want. And so we're working on providing that, uh, even if we can't provide all of the kinds of things that the big places provide. Well, and, and I just think about through my life experience and going to the doctor back in the day, I mean, I can still recite the two primary doctors that we had as our family physicians for decades. And it's really getting back mm -hmm. to having a relationship where you have a comfort level. So you may ask a question that you don't ask somebody who you may just happen to see once and then you never see him again because someone else is seeing you. Yeah, exactly. And it's, you know, and part of the reason that that problem happens is because practicing in the usual systems has become so unpleasant uh, for practitioners that they just are always looking for a better option, mm -hmm. better, a greener pasture, that kind of thing. And so, okay. yeah, so what we're trying to create here is a place where the the physicians, the other providers have ownership, you know, so they're not right. going anywhere because because they're, they're part owners of the place and they want to, you know, kind of put down the roots mm -hmm. and um, reestablish the roots and be able to have that consistent experience so that, you know, you know, one of the things I said in the blog post today is, you know, well-designed systems can provide good services. They definitely can. And, and as Dr. Dave alluded to, there are some things that the big places can do that, that we can't. But you can't have a personal relationship with a system. You know, you don't, I mean, the system uh, can can meet a lot of needs, but it can, and, and we're glad that we have that as a, as a place when something super serious or, you know, urgent comes up that, that mm -hmm. needs to be dealt with. But uh, for the day-to-day -day care, uh, this just has a really good feel, we think. Yeah, we've right. we got about a minute and a half here, and I, I just want to kind of really get back to now that we've kind of explained how it works and why it works, let's remind people how they can get involved or at least get more information and, and make an informed decision on their family's health care. Sure. Well, first of all, we have a booklet that we put together called Saving Through Membership, which describes, it does a good job, I think, of describing in about 20 pages kind of what we're all about. So we encourage people to go to our website and they can request that. Uh, they can give us a call at 507-279-2345 and we'd be glad to talk with them about it. We really encourage them to stop by and see us. Uh, they can see us at... Uh, 308 4th Avenue Northwest, which is, is a block east of St. Augustine's and a block from the Hormel Historic Home. So it's right in a, a well-traveled part of Austin that people are familiar with and ample parking and encourage them to come in and just see for themselves and see what that feel is that Dr. Strobel uh, described. And yeah, we just uh, love to have people get a, get a chance to experience it uh, for themselves. And we think when they do, um, that they're going to like what they see. 
and, and to look at the various options. I mean, there can be individual memberships. You have family plans, a uh, number of different ways that they can can do it and, and experience the healthcare clinic. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's uh, single uh, couple family membership levels, as well as then we have our corporate membership program for uh, small businesses, uh, particularly that maybe can't afford to offer full health insurance for their employees. But if they could offer this, this would meet an awful lot of their employees' needs. And we have, uh, we essentially provide the founding member rate for those employers to really encourage them to be able to do this. Well, every week it's a, a pleasure to be able to share this information with folks and, and let them know there are options out there, and this is a, a really good one. And uh, it's hard for me to believe it's already been a year, but uh, it's been a fantastic year. Yeah, it really has. It's been a blessing. Well, gentlemen, we've got to go, but uh, we uh, appreciate your time here uh, this week. Uh, we encourage people to come visit you or contact you to learn more, and we'll talk to you next Thursday. Very good. Have a blessed day, John. All right. Thank you very much.